Today's video. I want to do a week in my life this week. Really like all day, every day, but more so like just a little bit from every day. Today I'm starting off with my long awaited curly hair routine. Okay, so I just got out of the shower. Um, don't wash my hair as bad as this. I mean, it kind of sounds bad, but at the same time, it doesn't. I don't really like to wash my hair that often just because, I mean, I have pretty, I guess you could say, textured hair. No, I don't have like super super coarse hair but my hair does have a little bit of texture to it so it's not it doesn't ever get like super duper oily but when it does I do wash it like this time I think I may have went like four days without washing my hair I obviously I take showers like pretty much every day I just don't wash my hair anyways I just got out of the shower I washed my hair I have been using this oh, looks pretty wacky right now, but I've been using this Simple and Truth shampoo and conditioner. I bought this from Kroger, and it was like I think each of these were like five dollars each, and I like them mainly because they have no dyes, fragrances, harsh chemicals, parabens, sulfate. They don't have any of it, so that right off the bat is really good for your hair because you don't really need all that and I am no like hair professional by any means but I'm just telling you guys what works for my hair and my life in general I sort of like to I can take like a cleaner ingredient route I usually try to but obviously cheaper and sometimes that's just how you have to do it I honestly have lasted me I want to say I've been using these same two bottles for about two three months now and they're still pretty full like I don't have to get any more for a while these are still about halfway full. So, I get in the shower, I always brush out my hair, and I never ever towel dry my hair. So, I I will kind of wring out the excess water in the shower, and then whenever I get out of the shower, I will brush out my hair again, and I will kind of like twist it up into like that little twisty ponytail thing that I just had it in, just sort of like this. And that way it gives it a little bit of time to dry and stuff before I start putting stuff in it. I have made sure that my hair is brushed through and everything. I like to go in with my argan oil from Simple and Truth as well from Kroger. Um, if you have a Kroger near you, definitely recommend this. I think they sell this online though, so I'm definitely going to check for you guys. But with this, I do like to take it and just sort of comb it with my fingers through all of my hair. And that just sort of helps to keep down the frizz. And that is what has just been working for us. So as far as like hair products, that is pretty much all I use in my hair. I don't like to use like a whole bunch of different things because I find that my hair starts to get super oily and my curls just sort of form best whenever I only do the argan oil in my hair. Now I like to go in with my comb because I shed so much. I like to go in with the comb after I finger combed all that into my hair just to sort of make sure all that hair that has fallen out is out of my head and I'm not going to sit here shedding like a dog all day. I'm just going to style my and to style my hair, I haven't really been doing anything like super duper crazy. I pretty much do the same thing like literally every single day. <laughs> if it's not the ponytail with my bangs, it's my bangs <laughs> and this half a pat down. It's just sort of what works for me and what's just been easiest for us. So I just want to take this top half of my hair and brush it into a ponytail while also still trying to keep it kind of messy. So, like that. Okay. Sometimes I wear this ponytail out, but lately I've just been super duper lazy. So I just sort of twist this and then twist it into like a little tiny little bun. Sort of define my curls a little bit. I always like to go in and sort of do like a finger curl on pretty much my whole head just because 
obviously having curly hair your hair is different literally every single day so just to sort of reduce my friends tame my curls i like to sort of do this to define my curls a bit and then whenever my hair dries i will separate it and then they'll be like super cute like manageable loose ish curls because one thing that I was always really self-conscious about when I was little was my shrinkage. And obviously doing these finger curls sometimes it'll work in your hair and make your hair like not have a whole bunch of shrinkage, but sometimes your hair will just have a whole bunch of shrinkage either way. That's fun. But lately life has just been sort of kicking my butt. Did not get a video of last week for you guys. And I really, really wanted to, but it just, just the way my life has been, mom life, work life, all of it. Uh, as you guys know, I do work on the weekends and it's just been a lot, you know? And my toddler is going through a leap, so he has been having very big feelings and sort of hard to record anything and put a camera in his face when he's acting like that so I just didn't record last week so I don't know if it's just me or if it's just the season of motherhood that I'm in but my toddler is just a very let's just say he's getting his own feelings so he's like I said he's been having some very very big feelings lately and I've also been trying to validate his feelings. I try not to get frustrated, but it's just kind of hard because sometimes it's just super duper frustrating and I just want to be like, no, I have to peel this banana for you and that's the end of it. Because that is one thing he has been getting mad about so much lately is just little things like he wanted to eat the banana peel. He did not want me to peel his banana. He wanted to eat the orange peel. He did not want me to peel this orange for him. He's getting to that age where he has his own preference and he prefers things the way he wants them. And if they're not that way, then he thinks he can kind of protest and he's just testing limits, let's just say that. So trying to cope with that while also trying to be super duper consistent. For you guys obviously i did not start my youtube channel to like get super big or anything i really solely started it because i want to document our life the things we go through things that happen to us and stuff like that and if i happen to get a little bit of following along the way that's great um the more the merrier we are moms out here and this is our resource but that is it for my curly hair routine. I usually try to do this when Carter's asleep because obviously I would not have this much time to do my hair whenever he's awake. Um, so yeah, this is just how I've been wearing my hair lately, a lot. When it dries, it'll pretty much look the exact same, except for the fact that my curls will be a little bit more volumized and that's about it. We'll see you guys tomorrow. <laughs> I'm not thinking about the way you keep my world from spinning I'm just thinking about your eyes Just don't know if I've been faking or pretending But I know I never I showed you guys my curly hair routine at the beginning It obviously makes sense if I kind of showed you guys how my hair lasted throughout the day So this is pretty much as frizzy as it gets Um on like, you know, a good day. Obviously I have bad hair days and sometimes my hair is just freaking frizzy, but I just go with it because as long as I look presentable as a mom, that's all I want. Go! Go! There he goes! I'm not thinking about the way you keep my world from spinning. I'm just thinking about your eye. Two hours later, I'm just 
woke up almost me and carter just woke up from our nap i don't know if i mentioned this or not but carter definitely is on a one nap schedule now he doesn't sleep good when he takes two naps two naps yesterday just because i had doctor appointment and i needed to make sure that he wasn't gonna be super fussy all the time so i just put him down early gave him a second nap but still didn't work he didn't sleep good last night so one nap day schedule it is I'm going to finish eating our snack. We're going to go to the aquarium. I just like to try to get out during the week as much as I can, whenever I can. Just because I don't like being cooped up in the house. My child just threw this cup. Because this is a week in my life. You guys are coming with me to the aquarium. I probably won't be like an aquarium vlog. It'll probably be, it'll probably be more like just a few montage type clips us the aquarium because this is a week in my life and i don't want to make this video like super duper long but i do want to make it kind of long for you guys because i feel like all my videos are like super short comment down below if you think like all my videos should be longer because i feel like they're only like 10 minutes long my last day in the life video uh i think i had like 60 minutes of footage and i got it down to like 26 minutes which isn't bad but but for 60 minutes of footage, I should have had like at least a 30 minute video. You know what I mean? I'll see you guys at the aquarium. I'm not thinking about the way you keep my world from spinning. I'm just thinking about your eyes. Just don't know if I've been faking or pretending, but I know I never felt so damn alive. I don't know if I believe the information given That there is someone by your side Coming back inside my body for a second There is no way that I'm never gonna try Hello Where you at, where you been Tell me everything about you Go slow So I can write it down and become the perfect man for you what you like, what you don't, you should never be flying so And then at night I'll sing your favorite lullaby Okay guys, so today is Wednesday Wednesday is usually the day of the week that I like to sort of like Do all of the things I was supposed to do before the end of the week All in one day But that's been a little bit hard today because I literally just can't find motivation to do anything So I'm just letting Carter play outside for a little bit because I don't feel like chasing him around and at least outside he can just kind of do his own thing to go inside and fold this pile of laundry that's just been building up and building up all week because i like to fold all my laundry at once so if i get like little dirty clothes here and there it just really annoys me because then i have a half full dirty clothes basket before the end of the week before i can even get my clothes folded so I just sort of like to keep up on washing those clothes and fold them all at once whenever I get a chance. I used to try and crush everything on Monday, but after working the whole weekend, the girl usually just is drained. The grocery store, because I have to get some a few things for the rest of the week and for Dante and Carter this weekend while I work. I mentioned before, I like to leave them plenty of fruits and stuff like that, just so I know Carter's eating good when I'm not here too. And because I know how easy it is to just hand them some chips and just call it a day. So I like to give him those healthy options here and there. Um, kind of need to make us some lunch before I go in here and fold this laundry because I'm starving. <laughs> Thinking about how long it's gonna take now. I'm just thinking about our lives. 
You and me just laying blankets on a beach and then at night I'll sing your favorite lullaby. Here. You want a bite? I'm not thinking about the way you keep my world from spinning. I'm just thinking about your eye. Good morning. It's Thursday. I know I kind of ended like super abruptly. I just I went to the grocery store and did not end up picking up my prescriptions. Did not end up getting everything I needed at the grocery store. But life happens, right? I do need to actually fold all that laundry that I said I was gonna do yesterday, but never ended up doing. Last night was just sort of like a super duper rough night. Even with Carter, I think yesterday because he took that three hour nap, every single time I let him sleep that long for his nap, he never sleeps good at night. So I'm definitely gonna just not let him sleep for more than two hours <laughs> during his nap. But yeah, last night he was just really rough. He was up from like 12 to like three o'clock in the morning just tossing and turning. I tried to put him in the bed with us and he just really just truly was not going for it. Hopefully today is better. I'm definitely going to cut that nap shorter today. But yeah, welcome to motherhood. A line of trial and error. He sleeps through the, through the night for the most part. Um, most nights, but obviously we do still have some nights like last night where it's just like not good. I mean, and I will probably end up taking a nap with him today during his nap time, which will probably end up being like 1230 because here it is almost eight o'clock and he's still not awake yet. I got my coffee. He ate a cinnamon roll this morning for breakfast. Well, not for breakfast, but like for like my morning snack. As Carter gets up, I'm going to go in there and straighten up the room and stuff. Probably start doing that laundry because it's going to take me forever to finish. Hopefully we can be a little bit more productive today than we were yesterday. Good morning, sleepyhead. Mm -hmm. Good morning. So Carter is finally down for his nap. Um, sorry, the lighting is kind of funky. I figured maybe I'd come by this window and it'd be just a little bit better, but it's still kind of weird. Wanted to sort of share these uh, Valentine's gift basket ideas with you guys just for some inspiration because I know that making a Valentine's basket for a one-year-old is not the easiest because like, you know, the route that I wanted to take, I wanted to just sort of buy one of those pre-made baskets like, you know, the small businesses make and just give that to him. But then I started looking and scrolling and I'm like, these have way too much candy in them and this would mostly be for me and not really for him. You know what I mean? So I just wanted to sort of make my own kind of basket according to the way that I like things. I will not be sharing the Valentine's gifts that I got for Dante. Just because he watches my videos sometimes and this video will be up before Valentine's Day and I do not want to ruin the surprise. Without further ado, let's get right into this Valentine's basket. So the first thing is these little Valentine's gnomes. I got two of these so I could put one in each of their baskets. I'm going to put one in Dante's basket and one in Carter's basket. Um, just as like a little decor, you know. I got this from the Dollar Tree. It was literally like a dollar twenty-five because, you know, they upped all the prices of the Dollar Tree. Nothing's just a dollar anymore. It's $1.25, which is freaking crazy. I also picked up this 
Valentine's Day foam putty, which is just like, you know, um, that I used to play with in school. I don't know if I, if we only did it at my school that I went to, but it's like, kind of like foam slime, if that makes sense. Which is super cool because I am trying to get back into my sensory game. I haven't been doing nearly as many sensory activities as I used to with Carter. Just because I've just been super lazy and I'm trying to get back on my sensory game. So I made it kind of like a goal to include some sensory activities in his Valentine's Day basket. And that I got him was this cute little Valentine's Day outfit. His shirt says Heartbreaker. Got these pants to go with it. Super, super cute little joggers. I got these books. Honestly, I should have checked Goodwill first because they probably had some very similar Valentine's Day books, but I was just at Walmart and they called to me. These books, I really liked when I seen them, so I did end up getting them. Not all of them are super reasonable pri reasonably pli priced, reasonably priced, but they're totally worth it and I'm definitely gonna get my use out of them. The first book that I got was my first I See You book. Second book, obviously I had to get a Dr. Seuss book. I got this Dr. Seuss lovey things with thing one and thing two. Another book that I got was The Berenstain Bears. The last book I got was Dinosaur Dinosaur I Love You. He has another Dinosaur Dinosaur book. I can't remember what it's called exactly but these books are super duper cute and they make them for all the holidays as well as the little blue truck. I wanted I wanted to get him the little blue truck Valentine's Day book, but I just could not fathom spending $10 on a book. Hopefully I get lucky and look out and find the next holiday um, little blue truck book at Goodwill. Maybe it'll happen, maybe it won't. We can keep dreaming though, right? It's this two in one flip and flarp like slime putty type thing. Again, for sensory activities because I am trying so hard to get back on my sensory game and having more option will just give me a little bit of motivation to do it. I got him was this cute little lavender bath bomb. Um, obviously another sensory activity because well technically it's a sensory activity because when you put the bath bomb in the bathtub and they start to touch it and it's fizzing and you know that's totally fun. Like, I don't know if it's just me or if maybe other people notice this with their kids too but whenever I do more sensory activities with Carter he gets aggravated a lot less he's a little a whole lot less overstimulated throughout the day like he gets very overstimulated very easily and I think that sort of contributes with the fact that I haven't been doing as many sensory activities lately but who knows okay so another thing that I got him was this little XOXO cookie super cute for Valentine's Day better than candy and I will be okay with him eating a cookie. I got him this little inflatable globe because he loves anything that's a ball and this is an educational ball. So, so I got him uh, three pairs of shoes from this company that I follow on Instagram called or hello to tiny feet. I'll put it on the screen somewhere here. I'll link it below for you guys. They are literally the best. I could not rave about this brand enough. They are like the best shoes ever made for a toddler. I could only find one of Carter's right now, but these are the first pair that I ordered him. I didn't want to order like three pairs right off the bat because I wanted to see if I liked them first. Because a lot of times when you order shoes like this that are like flimsy and stuff like that, baby can't really walk very well in them because there's not really very much support in the foot or in the ankle. But with these, after a while, I mean, I started putting them on Carter around the time he first started walking and they it was kind of hard for him to walk in them at first but after getting used to, him, to them these shoes are definitely a go-to when he takes his shoes off in the car it literally takes two seconds to slip these back on when we're about to get out of the car i will insert some pictures of the ones that i ordered um, for carter if you guys want to check those out but i definitely would do it very soon if you can because they are having a super amazing sale it's buy two shoes, get one free, and then I think it's free shipping also, which honestly is a total freaking steal. I paid 40 bucks for three pairs of shoes for Carter, and I know he will wear the heck out of them because these little guys, he has worn the heck out of them. Like, they're super, super cute, but the only thing that I didn't like about these ones 
is that after a while the little animal starts to like you know like the little fabric starts to come out but that's why this time around whenever i got them i just got neutral colors i got one pair of black one pair of khaki and one pair of brown just to sort of go with anything that i put on him to make my life a whole lot easier all four of the things that i will be including in his valentine's basket and i'm about to go take a nap before i run out of time so if you guys like this video please like this video subscribe to my channel and i will catch you guys in the next one Bye.